Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge Sephora haul and this video is extra special because it is sponsored by Sephora. I am so excited. So thank you so much to Sephora for sponsoring this video. There have been so many new releases that I have been wanting to get my hands on. We have them all here to go over. Tons and tons of really amazing things out right now at Sephora. If you're not a Beauty Insider member at Sephora, what are you doing? <laughs> you need to sign up. I will have a link down below for you guys. I am a Rouge member and they always have different experiences, samples, and savings as a part of their program. They have three different tiers. You have insiders, VIB members, and Rouge members. So depending on how much you spend, you go up. It's free to sign up though, so you can be a Beauty Insider member, just by signing up, you can shop these products in store at Sephora or online at sephora.com. I will have everything listed below and linked for you guys for easy access to shop the products that I'm showing you today. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Thank you to Sephora again. I am so excited. I cannot contain it, obviously. Just wanna dive in and show you everything that's in this box. <laughs> Before you even watch, I want you to guess in the comment section below what products I picked up. I bet you guys can guess some of the new releases that I picked up for this video. And I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing on my lips right now because I figure I'm gonna have a ton of questions about that. And this is from Makeup by Mario. It's their Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. They came out with three shades. I ended up picking up the Nude Suede one. Surprise, surprise. It is such a beautiful color. This is the kind of color that I wear all the time and I have it paired with a lip liner that I'm also going to mention later in the video. This is what the packaging looks like. I love that you can see the color through the component and this gives a really smoothing effect to the lips, which is what I like. It has that kind of whipped consistency. The applicator looks like this and it just hugs your lips and definitely smooths them out. My lips were really dry <laughs> prior to this video and I wanted to try out this formula and right away I'm like, yes, this is a formula that I'm gonna get along with because it doesn't accentuate the dryness and it really does smooth everything out. So I'm very excited for this. There was another deeper color that I wanted to check out as well but I had to start with Nude Suede because you guys know how much I love these tones. And then I had to pick up from KVD Beauty the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I have their foundation and I really love that. This went viral on TikTok and for good reason. It gives you great coverage and makes your skin look super smooth and has this beautiful glow to it. So I was really excited to see that they came out with a concealer for this line. And I got the shade medium 126 and I have it underneath my eyes today. It's a beautiful color and super smooth and hydrating finish, which I need a hydrating concealer and this is definitely hydrating. When I saw the package, I thought it was going to be maybe a dropper type formula because that's kind of the vibe that it gives off, but it has this really unique, comfortable angled doe foot at the end, which I feel like is perfect for smoothing on underneath the eyes. And I love the coverage and how hydrating it is. So first impression, really good of this. And I love the packaging. This is the kind of formula that will play nicely with all foundations in my opinion, because it's not dry. It's not thick at all either. So you can really blend it out. So it's very forgiving. And I'm really happy with the color I selected. So if you are similar to my skin tone, Medium 126 is a really nice shade. And then I had to do this, you guys are gonna laugh. This is the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Full of Life. And you're probably like, Cheryl, why are you getting another one of these? I need another. <laughs> you know, when I love a product, I buy in my natural skin tone and a deeper one for when I'm tan, so then I can mix them as well. And I just had to do it because honestly, this is the best cream formula I have ever tried. It is so emollient and it doesn't lift your foundation. Even if you're wearing a stickier sort of foundation, this won't lift it, which is very rare, rare beauty. <laughs> it's rare to find, cheesy jokes, oh my gosh. This is the shade right here and it has a more red tone. I am wearing it on my skin today and I feel like it's a really good match for when I do have a little bit of a tan going on. And if I needed to lighten it, I can use my lighter shade. And when I'm more fair, the light shade works, but it even honestly works for when I have a tan. And you wouldn't think so because it is so light, but it gives a really beautiful, natural, effortless bronze to your skin, the lighter shade, even on my skin tone. But I wanted to pick up a darker one when the summer comes and 
if I wanted to mix the two shades because I love this formula. It's the best on the market right now in my opinion. So if you have not tried the bronzer sticks, you're truly missing out. Even if you have issue with cream products, you won't have an issue with this one. It is so effortless, anyone could apply it. First, starting out with makeup, you could use this, truly, because it's that easy to blend out. And then for fragrance, this one was inspired by a subscriber who DM'd me, told me that this was out, have I tried it? I should try it, <laughs> basically. And I had no idea that this launched, so when I was browsing Sephora, this is new, and it's the Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. And you guys know my love for the EDP for Burberry Her. I love the variations that they have come out with. And I definitely wanted to test this one out. But as you guys know, my fragrance collection is quite extensive. So I wanted to get the travel size first before I commit to a full size. And that's my one regret right now. <laughs> because as soon as I smelt this, I love this even more than original Burberry hair, if you can believe it. And usually with an eau de toilette, it's less concentration, so it won't have the wear as say an EDP or an extrait de parfum. And this has the projection that I'm looking for, but it also has this unique dry down musk that just works for me. It is a more floral Burberry hair, but still has that sweet component and it doesn't have the artificial strawberry scent that's in the original Burberry Her, which I happen to really like. It's there, but it does have pear as its predominant fruit in this, but I get the peony, the pear, and just the musk on the dry down is absolutely incredible. I cannot say enough good things about this. If you bought original Burberry Her because of me, you need to check out the Eau de Toilette. You will love it. I am shocked that I like this more than the EDP, honestly. It just encapsulates me in a fragrance. It's just a front runner, could honestly be in my top five now. And then on recommendation from my dear friend, Stephanie Babs Beauty here on YouTube, she was talking about this in a recent Sephora haul of hers. It's the Fenty Skin Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. And I ended up getting this for my husband. He has really dry hands, so I wanted him to check this out. And I've never tried a hand mask before. This is definitely a mask for your hands because it's super thick and you would wanna put this on before bed. My hands are so dry that I could get away with it during the day, but I would still need at least an hour for it to truly absorb into my skin. And I did try this out last night when I woke up today, my hands are incredibly soft, like no dry knuckles or anything like that, which I get during the winter time. And the dispenser on this is really unique too, comes up through those three little slots in it. It's a really thick nourishing formula. Highly, highly recommend. Stephanie was not wrong on this. If you have dry hands at all or know someone with dry hands, pick this up because this worked wonders on my knuckles, but I'm gonna have to share this with my husband now. I bought it for him and now I need it myself. We'll just be hand masking at night, I guess, together. So soft. Another new release that I really wanted to check out is from Makeup Forever, and it is their HD Skin. I've been seeing this all over Instagram lately, and I decided to get the shade that matched the old Makeup Forever Foundation HD. They have a conversion chart on Sephora that you guys can check out, and I was Y315, so I ended up going off that. So now I have 2N26 which I believe is a medium shade. The packaging of this launch is gorgeous. All the formula tones match the cap and it does that for the entire range, which is so aesthetically pleasing to me. Pull off the cap and you have it in a pump. I cannot wait to test this out. Everyone I've seen it on just looks like real beautiful skin. I just did a light swatch on my hand and I could tell like this is definitely gonna be a foundation that I reach for a lot just because how it absorbs into the skin and just looks skin-like, which is something that I want. I don't wanna look like I have a mask on. I want something that's definitely skin-like. So excited to give this a test out. If you've tried it, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know your thoughts. And then I have a, another concealer that I wanted to test out. It's from LYS Beauty, which stands for Love Yourself. And this is their Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I purchased most of the products from LYS when it initially launched, and I love the foundation, bronzer, and I couldn't wait to try this concealer, if I can get it out. I love how you can always tell what is LYS because they have this unique triangle shape to all their packaging. It's super 
luxe feeling and the price is amazing at Sephora. If you're looking for a clean beauty brand, that's a really good price. This is a brand to check out. I have yet to use this concealer as I wanted to try out the KVD Beauty one, but it has a slanted doe foot and this feels a little bit thinner in consistency and also hydrating, which is what I look for. A pretty long wand too. Blended Out has really nice coverage too. Gives a healthy glow to the skin. Another product I could not wait to get my hands on is from Hourglass and it is their Vanish Airbrush Primer. I loved their Veil Primer. I used to use that on brides back when I freelanced very briefly before I committed to YouTube full time. Anything with the word airbrush in it, sign me up. I have porous texture. We need to airbrush this skin. So I knew I wanted to test this out. I did try this today while I was getting ready for this video and it has a more smoothing consistency to it compared to the veil. The veil was a little bit more runny. I love the texture of this primer. It was really nice and smooth and still my fingertips <laughs> feel so smooth because I applied it with my fingers to my face and it just has this gorgeous feel to it if you haven't tried it yet. It's a smoothing primer that's not thick because a lot of smoothing primers on the market are really thick. This one's not. It just really smooths out the skin and the texture is incredible. So really happy with that so far. I'm gonna continue to test everything out as I always do and update you guys in the future. And then for a lip liner, I wanted to pick up this color for a long time. It is from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner and it is in the shade Foxy Brown. I'm wearing that today with the Mario Lip Cream and it's just a beautiful brown shade. Really goes with anything for me. This is the kind of lip pencil color that I like when I really want to define my lips because it is a deeper shade, but I think it is beautiful when you feather this out into whatever lip color you're wearing. You can really create different looks when you have a deep color like this. So love this shade of brown and I can see myself getting a ton of use out of it. You guys know how much I love Charlotte Tilbury lip pencils. I would purchase them all if I could, but this is the newest one to my collection. And then as I was scrolling Instagram, I saw this Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub and it says it's for the face, but I intend to use this on my body because I saw a video of someone use this on their legs to remove dry skin and self tanner and the before and after was unbelievable. So I'm like, I need something like that that helps me out because I don't wanna spend hours scrubbing the tan off me. So this is a enzyme scrub. This is Huda Beauty's skin brand and I cannot wait to try this. I'll still try it out on my face, but I purchased this to use on my body. It's a decent size, so I figure it will be fine for my body and anything that can make my life a little easier. I'm all about these days, so excited to give this a try for both purposes. And then the last thing I picked up are just replacement blades for my Sephora collection facial razor. I will show you a little picture of this in case you're curious, but I just wanted to pick up more blades for that. This is my favorite facial razor out there. I used to use those cheap plastic ones. There's definitely a difference because it is weighted, so it makes it really effortless to razor your face, your eyebrows, wherever you wanna take your hair off on your face. This just adds that added little weight. You barely have to use any sort of pressure and it's just super comfortable and nice and their blade refills are really easy to do. So highly recommend if you have not heard about the Sephora Collection Facial Razor, get on this because this is one of my holy grail items at this point and obviously I needed some more blades for it. That is everything for this Sephora haul. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and spending some time with me. As always, all products will be linked down below in the description box for easy access, as well as a link to sign up for the Beauty Insider program at Sephora. I'm a proud Rouge member at Sephora. I absolutely love the perks that come with being a member. I shop Sephora all the time, so it's definitely worth it to sign up. And also a big thank you again to Sephora for sponsoring this video. I'm obviously over the moon to have had the opportunity to work with Sephora and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and my channel. So thanks again for watching and spending time with me today. I absolutely had so much fun sharing with you all the new releases that are at Sephora and all the products that I cannot wait to test out further in either dedicated videos, trying new makeup, whatever you guys wanna see, let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video.